Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today Peng Shui has reappeared on Western social media. Now, I can already hear some of you asking who is Peng Shui? Well, Peng Shui is a Chinese tennis player. She's, she's pretty famous. She's an international tennis player. Um, and from what I understand, she, she's pretty good. But I can guarantee you probably more than 95 or 99 percent of Westerners, unless you were into tennis, would have never heard of this woman um, a few weeks ago. But what happened a few weeks ago, she made a post on social media um, talking about an affair she'd had with a Chinese official. And that affair ended and she felt she'd been manipulated and, and somewhat betrayed by that official. But now, had this have been a tennis star from Europe, America or England, nobody really probably would have paid that much attention. Um, but because it was a tennis star from China, um, the Western media went to, into this mass hysteria and social media also went into mass hysteria. Now, as I said before, probably most people have never heard of her. Um, but, you know, you had every Tom, Dick and Harry on Western social media sort of tweeting about this with a hashtag of, you know, where's Peng Shui? Because basically after she did that tweet, the, the tweet was removed from Chinese social media, but she asked for some privacy. She was obviously upset about the situation. She asked for some privacy. But that was not good enough for Western press and, 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 and Western social media users. They wanted, they wanted answers, you know, they... they they, they demanded um, statements from her, but the poor woman just, just couldn't win. Um, you know, if she didn't speak, she'd been silenced by the Chinese government. If she didn't appear in public, uh, oh, she'd been disappeared or locked in jail. If she did speak, oh, she was forced to speak um, by the Chinese government. If she did appear in public, which she did a couple of days later at a junior tennis tournament, um, I believe it was in Beijing, oh, she's being forced to appear. You know, that it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, and she's, she's actually, uh, some pictures have appeared today on social media that she's out and about in Shanghai. And she's also made a statement that people misrepresented her original post and a lot of the media in the west and on social media in the west they said oh she says she'd been um, sexually assaulted or, or raped and that actually wasn't the case at all from what i understand now i don't speak chinese but i've spoke to a number of chinese people about this and the post actually said that um, she consented to uh, sex with this official um, and that she wasn't um, sexually assaulted or raped. And she's actually uh, verified, you know, um, not verified, but she's actually confirmed that today. But I'm sure, um, you know, social media again will be full of all um, accusations that she's being forced to speak. And something else, just before I end this video, um, you know, if, if a star or a celebrity in the West has an affair, then it will be all over the newspapers. It will be it will be everywhere. It's it's a big thing. But that's very different here in China. In China, people tend not to do their dirty washing in public. So that's something you also need to understand. She made a post. She was upset that the affair was over and how it had ended, and she just wanted some privacy. But oh no, that that was just not good enough for for Western social media, especially Western media. You know it. it it all flared up for about seven to ten days, then it disappeared. But I'm sure it will all flare up again today. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. But as always, always don't, don't just read the headlines. Check the facts and do your research. But as always, for now, take care.